this is the first time that I've done anything chainsaw related since about October. I'm a newbie. Get oil everywhere. Sorry, cows. Think of it as a garnish. But yeah, interesting job. For for a big estate. No reason why they want it. They've just got a few trees over the water. That thing. Pretty big. Just gonna go cut it down with this beast. Although I think we're gonna get a little wet. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get back. After the first one's gone. The second one's there well. It's got a big old telehandler. And drag it out. See where we go from there. Should be fun. Yeah, so the reason I look so clean is because I've done nothing since October, absolutely nothing, apart from a lot of this stuff. But anyway, I've been asked privileged to come out today. For some reason, you've got a bit of a windblown tree over there, across the river. There's two actually, two windblown trees, I think they sort of might have been the same one. And someone, for some reason, a long time ago, has come along and decided to snare them up, just leap off, not even... Not even all the way through, so now we've got to move all of this shit that way. Eco stack. Get that from the river somehow, it's pretty deep. Gonna get wet, didn't sign up for this. Not one bit, not at all. So, we got the 661. And we're gonna hopefully, hopefully get that all done enough in a minute. We've got nice stuff like this. Just hand, hand throw it. 30 feet that way. Little jelly handler. That little bad boy. Manual handle all of this stuff. Some lazy person has decided a long time ago that I'm gonna leave it here. Well. Wind blown at some point a long time ago by the uh, state of decay on that stuff down there. I guess the farmers just come in here, ruin everything, and then expect us to clean it up. Put a nice cut in that and drag it out. about having the new spring summer range and this is one of the t-shirts it's just literally a lightweight t-shirt there's no thrills there's no spills of it it's literally something that keeps you nice and cool nice and dry keeps you keeps all that sweat away from your body sucking it all up and drying quickly comes in loads of different colors um, able to be printed on it's absolutely fantastic not a problem better than those cotton t-shirts anyway so yeah we got this this lovely lump, lump of timber now. We got pretty much through it. We're just going to put a chain around it now and try and pull it out of the telly handle. That doesn't look very deep, but that river there is not able to be waded in really. I don't really fancy it on a Friday afternoon. I know. But we should be able to pull it out of there. Get the next one over the other side. All in the day drive. Lift it up and then drop it. Sweet. 
people won't blog in. Who needs groundies? This is all well and good, but now I'm stuck. So I'm stuck. Cut off from civilization. This is like a little island. And that river that goes along there. And it feeds like a, like a man-made troutery, or whatever you want to call it. And then there's the river, the River Tess. There. And uh, yeah, this little bit of land is like some left woodland home devices and yeah I'm on it I'm stuck like some sort of really bad Blair Witch chainsaws yeah it's nice to be back I've had a long time sat behind a computer getting things ready with Bear Valley we got the Arb show coming out which would be great it'd be nice to see everyone that spoke to me supported me walked off me We've got some real cool things there. Hopefully some new stuff on the horizon. With a with a few new things and jackets and stuff, which would be cool. This is my uh <laughs> Oh no, I ain't getting home. This is my best bet so far. <laughs> that doesn't go all the way, that stops halfway. Yeah, you enjoy it. Sometimes it got a bit too much and it was 9 to 5. And 9 to 5. More like 7 to 6. Oh. Right. I think I found my crossing. Set a camera if I get back over it. I want to set up there just in case I fall in. Can't complain with 250 quid from you being framed, can you? Right. Let's give it a go. So I'm back over. Didn't have to manage to bear grills it. Stay there the night. Air lifted out. It's not a very interesting job. It's just amazing what a bit of heavy machinery you can do instead of sat there sweating your balls off trying to chop up everything into handheld sizes. You wouldn't have done it, that's so deep there. Doesn't look it. But it is.